like to talk about the effective usage of hydroelectric in this treatment. Please allow me 20 minutes of your time. The picture shows my clinic in Tokyo. I can explain about these benefits clearly as we talk about today's cases. When we treat teenagers patients, we, uh, we have to consider their age. I think everyone knows this figure. Manual growth is delayed compared to maxed growth. Aside from that, we have to consider boys and girls' peak of growth respectively. We can expect Mandra growth when the patient's age at its peak. We use these functional prices to control growth. <coughs> Instead of these functional appliances, we can use crust elastics and mandibular advancement. In Invisalign system, we can use crust elastics not only for more digitalization, but also for promoting growth. There are two patterns of staging when planning more digitalization together with mandibular growth. <coughs> One of them is elastic jab, and the other is sequential movement. I think both stages will expect to accelerate the growth when using classical elastic in teenagers. But if the patient has severe class relationship, I normally recommend the use of sequential stages. Last case, she is a 12-year-old girl presented with missing upper weight canine. Lateral profile was good. This slide shows missing upper right canine. Lower second molars have not elapsed completely. Lateral view. You can see the plus molar relationship on both sides. Panel shows high impacted canine. It is, it is too high. Would you try extrusion or extraction? She is still 12 years old. I expected the potential for elaboration would still remain. Instead, and we was 4.1 degrees, she was nearly 13 years old at that time, I guessed her growth was nearing the end. First of all, I am in a space for impacted canine. I planned lasting jump for upper digitalization. I didn't set any attachments. Because mandibular second molar have not elapsed yet, I expected additional awareness of this treatment. I will set attachment in the refinement stage if needed. When the first program is over, the canine didn't appear. So I performed refinement to make more space together with elastic jump. Oh my goodness, it didn't elapse even at the end of the additional rhinos. <laughs> I took a panoramic x-ray to know the position of the canine. I found out that it's getting off read by little. Yet, there is no enough space. I performed 
the carbon refinement to make more space. Together with the last project. Nevertheless, it has not come out yet. She was worried whether her canine would really come out or not. She began to doubt me. <laughs> she asked me, are you really a dentist? <laughs> time lapse to show her the achievement of space making. Time lapse would prove the outcome. We can visually confirm the movement of the, of the teeth and also the changes in the periodontal tissue. Furthermore, I showed have panoramic X-ray to show her the outcome. We can confirm enough space for canine. <coughs> the canine was located near the surface. By the way, there was another problem. She said she had, had never used crust elastic at all, despite my instructions. Because of that, class relationship on the left has not been improved. We decided to order additional aligners with manual advanced, advancement instead of class elastics. <laughs> Generally, manual advancement has been used for accelerating growth, but in this case, I wanted to try to use manual advancement for more desirization. When I was when I was planning fourth addition of Arenas, she was worried about an impacted canine that haven't adapted yet. <laughs> she complained, how long should I wait for that? <laughs> she seems to change into a little monster patient. <laughs> so, I gave up, gave up waiting for the natural eruption for the canine. After all, I decided to conduct fenestration traction during fourth addition of awareness. I performed fenestration traction from the start of fourth addition of awareness. Elastic was set from the legal side of the approach. The aligner with MA was changed every week. To my surprise, the canine elapsed in three months by elastics. <laughs> At that time, she was wearing the number 12 aligner. I removed the bottom and set the next aligner. More surprisingly, class one relationship on the left was achieved three months after using MA. The three months action of MA was effective in this case. I decided to stop proceeding to next line. At last, she was able to start the retention by using this line with MA. I thought MA would prevent the relapse of maxillary distillation worthwhile. Front of you, free and possible. About Pusa. Lateral expansion was observed. The posterior relationship was improved. The extrusion of maxillary canine was achieved. She got a very cute smile. Back buccal corridor space became smaller. Lateral profile was kept beautiful. There was no change on, of the pogonium before and after treatment from McNamara analysis. Her <coughs> mandibular growth was observed. It was not observed because she was 15 years old when she was using MA. Generally, mandibular advancement has been used for mandibular uh, 
accelerated demand drug growth, but in this case, demand drug advancement acted on maturity digitalization. Panoramic acceleration of the distance of movement of impacted canine. You can also see the improvement of trust and moral relationship. The slide shows the supine position. You can see upper moral digitalization. Treatment time was 31 months. She really didn't want to come to my clinic during her treatment. She could visit my clinic only, only seven times. I asked her many times to come to my clinic for additional arrivals. Because I am boring, I can't complete my slide for this lecture. <laughs> Finally, I promised to give her money. <laughs> uh, this picture shows my family. To tell you the truth, Lovely girls are my monster patients. Upgraded monster patient is my <laughs> I treat her more than five years. Although she is under treatment, she only wears a liner at night. <laughs> the last monster patient. <laughs> Just like me, she is also a dentist. Also noticed. That is why she is my number one critic. <laughs> my only ally is my five year old son. <laughs> my hope will be my partner using Indian G25 in the future. <laughs> I want to show my APAC friends, thanks to Invisalign, I can get many foreign friends. They are my heroes. This picture was taken at Invisalign Summit in Las Vegas in 2014. I wore the costume of Bruce Lee in the movie The Green Hornet. I hope I can become a hero together with you. And may I take a picture with you again? And I would like, I would like to wear the costume of this one. <laughs> and in honor of uh, the late Stanley, uh, he, he may create a lot of heroes, but I think he's the real hero. I became, uh, so that's why I want to wear this. this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.